I'm delighted to welcome you to the study group of the Senior Executive Course number 43 of the National Institute for Policy and Strategic Studies School to the Nigerian Police Headquarters, Abuja. This visit, which is in furtherance to the curriculum of the Institute, is of utmost importance to us being a lead agency in internal security in Nigeria. It is on record that the previous studies conducted by course participants at NIPS have been developed into strategic policy initiatives which have been driving governance in Nigeria as it has been attested by the leader of the group just now. A most recent example is the research conducted on community policing which informed the adoption of the concept by the federal government as the internal security management strategy and the policing model to be developed by the Nigerian police. In addition to the two you mentioned, that's the small arms and the COVID. Uh, this one was also developed by the NIPS, participants or research from NIPS, which we are now deploying in the entire country as a policy model. I am confident that the academic engagement of Senior Executive Course 43, of which you are an integral part, shall not deviate from the tradition of research and policy excellence. In this context, I am particularly appreciative that the Nigerian Police was selected as one of the strategic institutions for this visit. I am equally excited about the theme of the study, which is getting things done, strategies for policy and programs implementation in Nigeria. This study focus is apt and timely. This is because no institution, no country can attain its mandate or national interest without three critical elements. First is the organizational or national vision. Second is the sets of well thought out policies to regulate and drive the processes. And third is the implementation strategies that are directed at the attainment of the set vision or national interest that might have been integrated into the policy framework. These three elements are interconnected and they represent the system that defines the attainment of national interest and organizational goals. In relation to Nigeria police under my leadership, our policy vision is to restore police primacy in the internal security architecture of the country by doing the following things. One, engaging cutting edge policing technology and integrate inter intelligence led policing practices to our functions with a view to strengthening our capacity to stabilize the internal security, restore order and public confidence in the force. Two, giving full effect to the concept of community policing and deliver quality police service that will be guided by the principles of public accountability and conformity with the rule of law. Three, or third, taking the lead in strengthening interagency collaboration and embrace the social content of policing in which police officers see themselves as compassionate servants and helpers of the citizen and offer community services support to citizens in distress as well as vulnerable groups. Towards achieving this, a well thought policy framework and strategic implementation plan that are tailored towards changing the policing narrative and stabilizing the internal security order are being perfected. This process will entail the development of operational protocols to standardize and regulate our operations in line with best global practices. Such protocols will be utilized to review the professional conduct of officers and engage to hold them accountable in the event of professional dereliction. It is from this perspective that you could all appreciate why I am excited about your visit and the theme of your study. 
as I am expecting that the outcome of your interaction today will enrich our ongoing effort at reviewing our institutional policies and strategies, strategic planning. In the long run, your input will aid us in the attainment of vision and internal security mandate. To this end, I wish to, on behalf of the force management team and the entire Nigerian police force, heartily welcome you to the interactive, intellectual, and professional engagement, just as I wish you all a rewarding study engagement at the National Institute of Policy and Strategic Studies. However, we will reduce the theme, sorry, the scope of your request by giving you a PowerPoint presentation on our training department, how we get things done from the office, from the directorate of the training department. That will, that, will, that will enable us to give you what we have quickly and also engage in other things that we are doing. The scope is wide and we have decided to reduce it. Thank you.